So March Madness has basically clouded us uh, and pushed aside, you know, the Miami Heat winning streak, which apparently they're not going to lose again uh, the entire season. And the contract situation that happened in Denver with Elvis, Elvis Doomerville, this looks weird, Elvis Doomerville uh, leaving Denver because the papers were not faxed in at the appropriate time. I have a few thoughts on this. Firstly, why does the NFL still use fax machines? We have email, we have Twitter, we have, we, we have Facebook, we could post, we could take pictures and send it to the league office if we wanted to. Whatever, old school ways, totally fine with me. The second is Doomerville fired his agent for not getting all of that done in time. He took a pay cut from $12 million to $8 million, which is tremendous. He was being loyal to the team and his agents screwed him over. Now, he tried to renegotiate. By the way, Denver released him because they would have had to pay him $12 million. So they didn't even want to pay him $12 million in the first place. Thus, he uh, uh, lowered his salary. He renegotiated. They were going to resign. Papers weren't filed in time. If they were to sign him after that occurred, it would have it had to be for $12 million. So now he was going to Baltimore, a team that has lost... Uh, Ray Lewis and Matt Burke to retirement. They lost Kerry Price. They got, uh, excuse me, they lost Anquan Bolden. That's the 49ers. They lost Bernard Pollard. Uh, they lost Ellerby. They lost Paul Kruger. And yet somehow we have this thought that, you know what? They're okay now. And you know what? They are. The fact that they lost all those players, they're practically replacing Paul Kruger with a guy who arguably you could say is a little more polished polished than Paul polished than Paul Kruger and Elvis Doomerville a fourth rounder in 2006 out of Louisville has become a fantastic player him and Von Miller were this dominant pass rush but Denver doesn't even care it's well they care to an extent however he's going to be replaced by a 33 or 34 year old in Dwight Freeney or John Abraham I don't know how I feel about the move to be honest with you uh, obviously it's a huge loss for Denver Bringing in Dwight Freeney or John Abraham is going to be good for the moment. He, he simply cannot be replaced because he had Von Miller and Doomerville going at a quarterback at the same time. Hard to bounce back from that. By the way, I left off Ed Reed off that list, by the way. So uh, he's signing the contract on Tuesday in Baltimore. And, well, uh, you know, he fired his agent. Three Pro Bowls, 63 and a half sacks. A solid move for Baltimore that it seems they lost so many pieces to this Super Bowl team. They lost so many players, yet this signing seems like uh, a little bit of hope for Baltimore this year. So what do you guys think? Leave a thought in the comments section below. Give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to DYD Sports.